hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be talking about fashion items that are in and fashion items that are out which team are you on let's find out <laughs> Now, disclaimer, 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 disclaimer. Fashion is subjective. You can wear whatever you want, be whoever you want, do whatever you want. However, I'm talking about fashion items that are in and out from my perspective. Me, Rajay, me, him, me. I am about my name is Roy. See my bag here. Me, me attack. Me, no business would own. So, if I put an item on the list that is out of style for me personally, don't throw tomatoes. It is out of style for me. You can use your money and buy what you want, but for me, it look a mess. So let's jump straight into it. By the way, before we jump straight into the tea, girl, why aren't you subscribed? Majority of who watch are not subscribed. Shocking, right? So, yeah. Subscribe. You're already here. You have nothing to lose. And if you don't follow me on Instagram or any other social media, it's all things that you on all platform. You can follow me. I normally do a poll on what video i should post weekly and you guys choose the ones that you want so this was the poll from last week where i chose it was cooking versus this video it was a tie and let me repost it again and then the fashion one win right before the story came down it was like cooking and i'm like no that's cheating and then i was on the road for like 24 hours today and i i literally left my yard yesterday 7 pm and i didn't come back until 7 pm today today this evening so i am literally exhausted it's a miracle i'm here in the hours of the night filming a video editing it so that i can post it for tomorrow plus i work 16 hours tomorrow there's a function happening at my mom's church so it's going to be so chaotic tomorrow and stuff but i'll do anything for you guys as you guys know so subscribe and follow me on social media let's go bring out my trusty iphone 15 i shiny all cases in there, but it's so cute right so cute starting with things that are out skinny jeans now the thing with skinny jeans is that remember back in the day skinny jeans everybody wear skinny jeans fat slim your skin couldn't have sag like oatmeal all the girls were wearing skinny jeans and stuff but i think over time skinny jeans just became corny it became a sore to the eye if you wear skinny jeans that's fine that's your prerogative but for me skinny jeans is just not my thing i've never worn a skinny jeans and i'll probably never wear a skinny jean why don't i look like chicken leg why don't i look like chicken foot mm -mm. it not give what you need for give so me no no skinny jeans definitely out but let me give you something for me personally that's in flared pants and oversized jeans are in however pause and comma you have to be one of the girlies that can style the outfits and make them look good so not because me say skinny jeans out if skinny jeans fit tail would deny stick to your pies though but the flare and oversized pants and stuff i give like very emo very street very rugged and all of them vibes the hip-hop 90s vibes if you know that you're not that girl leave it alone Someone not gonna look at happiness. Even for a person like me, where I have a bigger body type, wearing oversized jeans can be very intimidating because it's gonna make you look like a balloon. However, I rock oversized jeans and look very fabulous, I might add. So, I think you guys want to switch it up, add a little flair, like a something, a little excitement, keep it fun, keep it creative. And yes, once enough is style and put yourself together, you'll be fine. Now, a lot of my followers, the girls, wear this, and you guys are going to throw tomatoes. I have two friends that love these so much, and they are the Bridget Sanders. Oh, no, can't tell me from the face that hurts are these chic. Yes, the girls, they put them on, and they look cute, and it's just a moment, but before, like I said, it's a moment stretched too far. They are hella tacky to me. It just gave loser cornball. They're just expensive for no reason. I heard that they're very aggressive on your foot. It's just like a slab of leather with string tire on it too it literally gives crickets like crickets made us personal and i love you i love a more subtle and chic and you know feminine and girly and it just give like you know cute and luxurious and stuff like that these are the sandals that your girls can choose from you have that the Hermes sandals. I'm not going to spend on the last part Hermes, but I think the Hermes sandals, they're very subtle, they're very chic. I'm not talking the Butterfoot girl, they never go out as far from the day on the band. 
on the heel back favor the cracking of the road me not talk on no me not talk to girl but then like a pedicure and then like a something and them foot well nice and look good and well moisturized and you know white like snow yeah me not talk them girl eh? you know like um the little Prada slippers them they're really nice and me not talk the girls when I walk and then lift then foot me not talk the one when I walk and kick up those like dessert me not talk on no and the tour birch them they kind of give me Lego bees, but sometimes they look really cute on the girls, them and stuff. So, I take on a Tory Burch round. No. Sometimes it gives the Lego bees, but I go take it. Yeah, you like those? I rather those over the bridge. If you like so those fit on the better, but to each his own. No, this is for all of the brand people. Them. I'm so sorry, y'all. Large monograms. Large monograms are out. So, for all of the girlies, them and boys who love to wear like Louis Vuitton shirt. Louis Vuitton, bag, Versace, Gucci and stuff like that. You see the big red and green and the big G and the big LV and we know the Medusa pattern. So I don't know me at all. Sometimes less is more. Long gone are the days when everybody do this excitement, the monogram because you don't want to show up. So, oh my God, I'm in Louis Vuitton. It's not cute. The simpler the outfit looks, the better. Like when you don't have any logo on it, and it's just eye class. It just gives that eye class quality. Day. Like a good Hermes um, Birkin. When I carry a Birkin, you just know the signatures of a Birkin. So when you see a girl with a Birkin, you know, say, the girl that carry eye fashion. Look at this beautiful Louis Vuitton moment. You just see the LVA, you know, say, I write a Louis Vuitton. You know, cover half in a monogram. You know, cover half in a Gucci. Look at this beautiful bag. If you know, you know. You get what I mean? Say, like, these are just chic and fabulous and stuff and these are things that I think the girlies and boys should like lean into like you know lean away from all the big monogram logo 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 and just try to tone it down and just give the quiet looks with it you get to me and say she can nice tight dresses with sneakers definitely out and girls need to wrap it up hang it up flat screen because you know give one a think it I give like one time it is cute Several summers ago, you look how body can dress. I want cute little sneakers. No, the girl is not really care about them. They didn't care about like beautiful day dresses that are like very feminine and chic, bright colors, pastel, and it's just giving the inner girl, the inner femininity. You get to me and say something nice and civilized and stuff. Yeah, the girls, them, I step out of them comfort zone and them just look good. Like them, I got this beautiful high-class tea party. They're just bringing out the girl in them. The struggle with the sneakers and this um, dress and so... Uh, crickets? Crocs. Crocs. Like, Crocs is vicious. It's so ugly. I have two Crocs. One that, and those Crocs are Crocs when we work at work because Crocs are very comfortable to work in. You don't wear crocs go out. Well, to each his own. You know, so crocs cute, so you can't run good on the road tonight. But like when I go a certain event, crocs not go to church, crocs no go on a formal event. With crocs, oh my god. Like, mm -mm. come on, guys. Like, crocs no wear everywhere. If you even have the cute bedazzled crocs, even great. Even great, not bad. But time and place, everything and stuff like from the girls to the boys to the dogs to the birds and the bees, it's just not. It's just not giving what it's supposed to give. Here are some alternatives that we put together where we feel like, say, can't cut a look dash. For the ladies, we feel like I say, you can't wear any type of shoes here. Wear, you know, close toe. And if you want the open back feel, it really look good. It's cute, like, you know, loafer vibes. I think it looks really cute. And you even have the man version. They're really cute. Hold on you because I have one myself. I do have one myself and it has like the fur back. It's very new. I want to wear this once. And me tell says it looks civilized more than where this go on nice formal event that one crocs because this is just scream high class fashion, you know exactly what you're doing and stuff. So when you can invest in the nice good things them and so. And even if you're not a fussy type of person and you really like crocs and stuff, you can get the elevated closed toe crocs, you know, like this. This is very chic. Like mother really pair this with a nice jeans or something and still give what needs to be given. And still what needs to be given. Needs to give F, gave a ration, whatever Doja Cat said. Supposed to give, but it did not give what needed to be gave to the highest of giving, if that makes any sense. Yeah, so 
You get what me I say? Like, you have, have to know what works for you. Know what works for you. What works for me, not necessarily might work for you. So, research, experiment, and stuff. I did a lot of experiments with my fashion. I just come a fry. I come a fry in. I need to go do a video on that one next time. Comment down below and tell me if you like it. So, I just come a fry in. I think you know, want shorts mode where I just feel like I say, my fat leg didn't look good. So, I just feel like I say, in a shorts outside every single time. Whether it's cold or it's rain. Me just in a shot all the time and I'm look back on them picture them like eh, eh. but I'm grateful for you know the opportunities that I learn and I grow and I move along and my style mature and it keeps evolving and evolving and evolving. So no shame in the game. Dresses with side chains, gotta go. Um this was the thing where everybody wear a, a birthday dinner, I come in a one dress with an entire five year at the side from Pings and Pablo's no ma'am. No, ma'am, they got to go. I think what's in now, nobody really cares about those anymore. People still wear them, good for you. What's in now is like maxi dresses, like long, flowy dresses. If you want to do bodycon, do bodycon, don't hide your figure. But I think long, maxi, flowy dresses that are just beautiful with pockets. And the ladies are just, you know, living their best auntie and chic and body life. Because you don't have to wear a bodycon or a mini dress to give a bad you get to me and say like the long flowy dresses in bright colors they're just so gorgeous and stuff i think those are more chic and they're in and they scream elegant and they scream woman and they scream mature so i am not mad at all dad sneakers versus dad sneakers this is very interesting the dad sneakers are on both lists in and out let me explain dad sneakers more than ever wear them more than cut off my own toes them and eat them i would never wear these sneakers and stuff they're just not for me looking back from back in the days when we used to slay these sneakers my mother used to carry them for me my mom was always ahead of her time you know god bless her soul always ahead of her time the things that we see people around them now when we look back in the days when we used to wear them there and used to ball and say they're ugly at them around the place and all the look how dear back them they look how mini back them my mom used to have a lot of those and we used to say girl Ain't nobody carrying those because at the time they weren't fashionable people are wear big and back don't you so they my time yeah but look Everybody gone back to the little mini skimpy bag now on their shoulder and my mom was always ahead of her time. Like, always. Did I choose them? Why me hate them? Because of how people care them. They don't care them and enough really style them properly because they always look like this. Dusted, busted and crusted and they not give nothing. It's just a give a pile of dirt. It's just meh. So that's why me hate it. However, you have people that wear them that makes me feel like Probably no one one, but I'll think long and hard on it. For example, Rush Cam, always in a female. I mean, I it looks so good. Quite Perry recently started wearing it, and it looks fantastic. So, they make you feel like you want to wear it, but on the other and it's like, hmm. we'll, we'll circle back to that one. Rip jeans. No, rip jeans definitely out. Um, I have a few rip jeans myself. Time and place, everything. If you like to rip jeans, you can wear in a summer, you can't run and wear a mall, but everything cannot be ripped. You get to me and say, lad man, I smell no knee cup fever, um, like you can grow the coconut. Everything cannot be ripped, um, ripped jeans, time and place, you can't give it a break. Nothing wrong with the ripped jeans. But if you like say, if you go to ripped jeans, now in a modern era, it needs to be fresh. Like, back in the day, ripped jeans versus now, it's kind of different. Like, the 2024 version is like that jeans with a little slit at the knee. And then type of ripped jeans and more. Like, it just give like chic, a different level, a different vibe, and a different style, and a different era. So, nothing wrong with ripped jeans, you know. I just think that the level of ripped jeans, you know, why it's too tear out, you know, why it too much. You get to me and say, because the ripped jeans can either be great or not great and for the for the most part it's not great my rib jeans with me i buy them they have like small cuts you know for certain patterns and stuff me i really love rib jeans again something i really wear man i have like two like a light blue one and a black one and i hardly wear them like if me I look outfit me rather wear like a regular pants because me just feel like say me can build more from a plain pants 20 makeup it's alarming. It's shocking. I'm not judging the girlies, but I'm also judging the girlies. Um, it's 2024. We have YouTube. We have TikTok. You have a lot of tutorials for free and stuff. We have cheap makeup classes. Girl, what's your excuse? 2010 makeup, really? 
no shade to her because we don't see this on the internet but a lot of people walking around with 2010 eyebrows and colorful makeup nothing is wrong with colorful makeup but it's how you put it together and like highlights oh my god remember the highlight craze of 2010 we don't want everybody was just glistening like then dropping a glitter no 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 that needs to stay in 2010 i think we need to level up makeup we can do like light neutral glam soft glam you know natural glam if you're a color girly you can still do your cookie and crazy but you know get it right do it right mix and match angle yourself you get to me and say but not just <sighs> i leave makeup alone i guess i guess it's not everything is not for everyone so leave it alone the older nail girl is about to be mad. These fingernails are so atrocious. They are so ugly. Like, a classic French tip is really beautiful, you know, but you spend time they make them broad, so. Oh, my God. It look like I say, one well, can't run over your finger, them and they flat and press out, so. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, ma'am. No, ma'am. That looks atrocious. Absolutely horrific, me I tell you. Because, because why? Let me just leave. Uh-uh. Atrocious. I don't like them personally. They're just ugly. We have other alternatives that you guys can use. 2024 press on nails. Cheap. You can't get them from Sheen and get them anywhere based by your preference, based on where you like to shop. And so here are some other preferences that you could use. Like updated version. I love a coffin nail. I love like the pointy cat one. I love creative. I love cookie and crazy. If you're not that girl, you can't get a natural manicure them with their own fingernail like gel acrylic and a level because something they I spice up the thing. But the big broad platter nails them. <sighs> one more to throw up guys here ends my little list comment down below tell me if you agree tell me if you disagree we, we stay tossing in these comments so let me know down below if you're mad about anything that you might like that i put on the you know show sure, show sure, to the left to the left list and we'll do this sometime soon Anyways, girly pop, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to follow me on all socials. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for watching. No matter how small it is, I'm always so grateful. I'm not one who like random views. More than 24 watch, yes. But if 10 somebody watch, I'm grateful. I want to know this from a long time. Before me even have a large following for social media. We used to post YouTube videos. I used to get even 10 and 25. I used to be so excited. Excited and know that me I get like a hundred and seen a hundred views is a big deal to me. But that's how we pan the crowd for kind of catch up. Only not really trust me when they come onto YouTube and that's my fault because me not consistent from YouTube. So me can't blame on me more consistent from TikTok because I'm getting like half a million views on TikTok and stuff. So the clear interest is there only just not trust me when you come on to youtube because every time you send me a post me post 10 videos and then you know see me till the next three months so me i try to push out the videos them and try to stay motivated as much as me tired and can't bother me i try my best for just push the effort because right now i'm really tired and i've been out for like the last 24 hours and what i'm going to do is edit this right now thumbnail everything prepare everything before i go to bed and guess what i have to go to work tomorrow morning that's sunday 3 p.m. to 7 a.m. in the morning and then I have to do it all over again and stuff and if I didn't love you guys and I wouldn't be doing this because I'm not getting paid and I'm not getting a million views and that's what drives people on social media money and views I mean I really I get that but I'm grateful for who they are so shout out to my beautiful team I love you guys for watching be that girl or don't wash your hands be germs free and I love you. Until next time, see you on another video. The host with the most um, is signing out. Bye. My phone is ringing to me. I call my friend from work. All right. Bye, guys. Love you. <laughs>